everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really well um, I know it's a weird weird feeling around everywhere but hey you know what um, we will make the best of the situation and what I will do today is share with you my favorite drugstore lipsticks uh, actually no my favorite range of drugstore lipsticks I will do swatches on my hands and obviously on my lips as well so I hope you enjoy and let's get into it so if you've been following me on YouTube for a while you will know that I'm in absolute awe and in love with the Revlon Color Reach lipsticks so this is what they look like I'll just show you one um, just to have an idea of which ones I'm talking about so this is what they look like um, the black with the gold trim um, and then you have the lipsticks um, some of these have been worn down to their absolute absolute last second so um, let's start with the one that I'm wearing on my lips now actually I will zoom you in so I am wearing this on my lips right now um, and this is the one called blushed this is what it looks like it's a very very beautiful everyday color uh, this color actually um, on the camera it looks very browny but in real life it's like very everyday muted down um, beige pink the next one and my most favorite one I've actually got two of these um, is this one <clears throat> um, and this is a very everyday pink color this is called uh, pink in the afternoon 415 um, and this is an absolute beautiful color um, this is what it looks like it's a very true light pink um, it looks beautiful on the lips um, if you want to do like a nudie pink color if you've got like really dark eyes and a smoky color going on this is an absolute absolute win I really like this I've actually got two of these the next one is this one this is a fairly new one that I bought um, it is it has a slightly different finish it's more like a matte finish um, but it's this one so this one is called rose rise up rose this is a matte finish um, these two were glossy or creamy finishes this one's a matte finish this is actually um, I think one of my favorite browns that I have because it has a very different tone of brown it's quite cool toned again so it um, suits a lot of different skin tones if you're deeper than me then this would be an absolutely beautiful nude if you're lighter than me this will be um, a bit I wouldn't call it your lips but better it would be maybe one notch higher this is the next one um, and this is called blushing mauve uh, again this one is a very beautiful color so the, this one obviously has a purplish undertone but because it's not completely purple it's like a pinky purple um, but very um, cool toned I think on the camera they look slightly different but actually in real life they're very like neutral pinky neutral tones that you can wear every day um, like the pink in the afternoon which is this this pink one is very muted and pink you'll see when I wear it on my lips I think on my hands it looks slightly different um, but yeah blushing mauve is a beautiful beautiful color it's very wearable if you want to wear like a purpley uh, lipstick but you're not very confident wearing something extremely purple the next one is again um, a matte finish so again there's a different um, formula to these um, the more the mauvey one that we saw uh, before this was a cream finish so it was much more um moisturizing um this one again is a fairly new one this is a matte and it's called dare to be nude again a very beautiful nude color beautiful nude color this one in a particular i like because it has a very like a terracotta um pinkish again like a i would call this like a, a brick creamy nude um, if you're deeper than I am this would be beautiful on you this is really really nice again the matte formula of them is matte but it's very it's like a creamy matte it's not very drying at all um, and, the, and it stays on your lips for a very long time now the next one um, is I'm sorry it's in a very bad condition because I broke it um, and I'm trying to salvage it somehow um, so please excuse the look of this um, this is called mink 
I'm sorry uh, it's completely broken uh, but the colour of this is so nice that I don't want to let it go um, this is a slightly brown colour um, this is the cream formula so this is what it looks like it's like a really nice chocolatey brown but it's not like a really dark brown again if you are um, in deeper complexion than I am then this would be a really really nice your lips but better kind of look I think um, this one obviously is straight up brown uh, but again it's very cool toned I think I tend to like cool toned lipsticks only because I have a very cool toned um, complexion myself so lipsticks of the same tone look nice on me beautiful brown um, and it's like a straight up chocolatey brown there are no you know ifs and buts about it it's very very brown and that's what I like about it next one um, is also one of my um, recent purchases um, so I haven't worn it a lot as much as the other ones but um, it definitely is in one of my favorites um, and it's this one and this is called barely pink so this is the one that you would wear basically as a true nude colour. Um, this one, I'm going to be honest with you, it does need a lot of rubbing into your lips for it to show up. So this is what it looks like. Um, this one is an absolute true nude. It's definitely not as dark as this one which is the pink one that we spoke about in our uh, pink in the afternoon it's much lighter um, I, I almost feel like it's much creamier as well although I don't think it is it's just um, the color is very very light so to be honest if you've got um, if you want to wear like a nude lipstick but like an everyday balmy lipstick and it almost feels like you're not wearing anything you're just wearing lip balm then this would be an absolute dream to wear the next one is also one of my um, newer entries um, and it's a matte one called showstopper so this is what it looks like it's a beautiful beautiful color now on the camera um, it looks very straight up red but I promise you it's actually not it is it's a very pinky red oh my god it's actually looking really red in the camera but if you can go and swatch this I know these days you can't really go and swatch it but to be honest if you've seen this in real life it's actually it is actually a pinky red um, now again it's a blue toned blue toned red which is why it goes shows a little bit of a pinkish hue but it is so beautiful. I, you will see when I put this on my lips, it is um, absolutely amazing. Um, again, because of the matte formula, it stays on your lips for a very long time. It's very comfortable to wear. And just look at this beautiful thing. I would just wear makeup just so that I can put this on my lips. It's, yeah, it's absolutely hands down one of the most beautiful. Okay, so the next one we have is um, is the one that looks slightly scary in the bullet but it's actually not and it's called Naughty Plum it's like it's my newer collection uh, newer entries in my collection um, this colour is quite peculiar um, I will say it's not my most favourite buy but this this colour um, I think with colours like these you just need to be in the right mood like you would want to wear this this is that kind of colour. I know it's a very autumnal, very wintry colour, but you can absolutely wear this if you're going for a dinner or something like that. I just think it's beautiful. I think also for like if you're going to a concert or something, you know, snazzy like that, this would look really, really nice. It is um, again a very cool toned purpley brown colour um, I know I understand it's not everyone's piece of cake but go and try this when you you know when we're allowed to leave um, and, and you can and you will absolutely love this it's a very very different colour and um, I've actually only seen a few um, these these kind this kind of colour in only high-end brands so I think it's really nice of Revlon to come up with a colour like this where we can all you know love and share this one is also um a matte one and it's also my newer um a newer entries in my collection and this is called superstar brown 
and this is what it looks like this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful brown um, so the brown that we had before was the creamy brown um, and that was more on the I think like a brick brown this is a straight up terracotta full toned brown you cannot get more brown th than this this is so beautiful on absolutely beautiful I mean although this is not very I mean on this camera it looks very dark but in on my hand actually when I'm looking at it now it's not overly dark it's a very muted gothic brown if that makes sense um, and to be honest this this can be absolutely be worn as a statement lip because the kind of finish it has the kind of cool tones it has in its colors uh, the next one I have is a, a bit of a mixed it's a bit of a confusing color because sometimes it pulls to one end and sometimes it pulls to the other end um, and it's this one which is called rose wine um, and this is the cream formula I've had this in my um, stash for, for quite a long time actually but but to be honest I haven't worn it massively only because um, it's not really a red and it's not really a pink so it's something in between I think this color would be really good for someone who's just starting to wear red and not very confident in wearing you know that really strong red in your face this is my lips kind of red this is a very muted down pea almost peachy pinky brownie red I know that I've I've literally mixed the four colors up together but it really is very very different it's like no other color I have in my in my collection one I want to talk about is one uh, which is slightly newer in my collection um, it is a matte version it is a matte finish called red rules the world um, and this is what it looks like again in the on camera it looks very very red but in real life it's actually a very I wouldn't call it a pinky red this reminds me of the Mac um, Ruby Woo it's pure red um, cool toned absolutely beautiful amazing to wear and because it's matte it will stay on for ages next one is this one oh actually we like this this is the I think the only pearl finish that I have in this um, in my collection um, and it's called wine with everything I've actually worn this loads and clearly it hasn't gone down that much um, so in the camera it looks really really red but actually in real life it's far from it um, so this is what it looks like it is a pearl finish so it does have a slightly different tinge to it this one is actually um, is actually one of my favorites only because it's very different to what I have in my collection um, it's very very creamy because it's a pearl finish can you see the slight sheen to it um, it's a pearl finish it is a cross between I would say a purple and a and a pink um, this one so although the bullet looks really red but in real life it's actually a very beautiful color I've never seen such a color in any other collection so, last two um, so this is my absolute favorite I've worn this tons and I've also made my friends buy it <laughs> that's how much I like it and this is the uh, normal cream version we have it's called fire and ice and this is what it looks like absolutely beautiful this one is I don't know why it's a red but to be honest I've never seen a red like this this is what it looks like it is the most beautiful beautiful red it's I would call it an orangey red and it's very much in your face on camera it looks very neon it's not neon in real life at all it's a very strong orange very very cool toned orange red um, and it, it, it is has blue undertones I know some people don't understand that it took me a while to understand and whenever I wear it I always get asked what lipstick I'm wearing I'm not kidding you now last but not least wrapping all of this up is the last one and obviously we've come down to all the reds so this is clearly one of them 
um, and this one is called pure red it's a matte finish um, and this is what it looks like and like it says it is an absolute gorgeous gorgeous red that's what it looks like you I don't think they can get more red than this the difference between this red and the one we had over here as you can see I think now it's more oh, I think now it's more understandable why this is pure red and this is like a it's like a maroony red and this is absolutely pure pure red absolutely pure red um, it's a matte finish so it stays on the lips for a very long time and even when it wears off once you've you know it lightens it just it doesn't lighten in a way where it does looks patchy it lightens to like a I would say like a muted down dark pinkish red color it's just absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love this and that's all the lipsticks I want to share with you. Thank you so much for coming in and watching me show you all the lovely lipsticks that I have. I really, really hope you guys like this. Please do give this a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.